Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from therighttrader.com back again with another stock analysis and price prediction for 2020. We're going to be covering Facebook today and I've already covered a lot of stocks. If you're interested in checking that out, we have the link to the playlist in the description of this video and I've already covered Apple, Tesla, uh, much more to come. Let me know if there's anything specific you want me to cover, any particular stocks in the comments down below. So Facebook uh, currently sitting at around $213. We're going to jump over to the chart here and take a closer look at what's happening. Now, if we look recently what's happened, quite a few ups and downs. However, if we zoom out, we're going to see that it's actually been, you know, uptrending for, I want to say forever, basically. And if we go to the weekly chart, uh, so every candlestick is uh, represents one week, we're going to see that it really has been nonstop uptrending, right? And uh, it's funny because whenever... Facebook uh, stock, a lot of people say uh, sometimes that, oh, it's it's going to crash, uh, it's way too high, way too overvalued right now, it makes a new high. That's what tends to happen with Facebook uh, stock, I noticed. So, uh, obviously, going to draw out the uptrend line just to, to have it put in here. This would be our major long-term uptrend line. Any move below this would be very bearish. I don't see this barring any big market crash or something like that. And we have put in a bit of a range here for the more recent times. So obviously supported around 150 there and resistance at the all-time high of $218. You know, any move above $220 uh, would probably mean uh, a big breakout to new all-time highs, fresh new all-time highs, and could really, you know, put us on the road to $250, which I think is uh, absolutely not out of the cards here. In fact, uh, actually could be a pretty likely scenario for 2020. Also our shorter term uptrend line uh, over here. So we've got a lot of support and you know we're coming back on a retest of this all-time high resistance. We could potentially need to test it one or two more times but we could also break through right. This is a little bit of a v-shaped bounce as well so that's something to notice uh, also. And if we take a look at the indicators on the RSI, we're actually a little bit on the weaker side, you know, kind of have a bit of a symmetrical triangle formation going on there on the RSI. I'd like to see it be a little bit stronger, but if we break out of that downtrend line, uh, probably going to be a signal for a breakout, right? So something that's very important to pay attention to is any move above this downtrend line on the RSI and any move above 70 on the RSI will signal a, you know, strong breakout. And uh, MACD is currently uptrending and positive. So that's a good thing. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more here uh, so we get a, a nice big picture view of uh, what to expect for 2020. Now, I think that uh, if we look at the time frame here, we're, we're really looking at a breakout to new all-time highs coming up pretty soon here for Facebook. And I think this could happen, you know, within the next three months, pretty much guaranteed in my opinion. That's not financial advice. That's just my personal opinion. But based on what I'm seeing, you know, if we don't break out this uh, attempt, it's going to be in the next uh, attempt or two. And honestly, there's a pretty high chance that we do break out on this attempt considering the overall market strength and this V-shaped formation right here. Uh, so if that happens, like I said, we may not instantly shoot up all the way to $250, but I think we it will set us on the road to that, like I said. Uh, and I do think that we will probably test $250 for uh, 2020. Could we go higher than that, higher than that? Possibly, uh, but that would be kind of my uh, my uh, peak target price would be two hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and then maybe uh, you know either consolidate or pull back a bit lower uh, towards the end of twenty twenty. Uh, it becomes harder to predict what's going to happen at the end of the year, but I think that uh, coming up here we got the breakout for uh, Facebook, and after that you know it's just going to be a matter of probably seeing when we're going to lose this uptrend line because this one is pretty st steep. We may not be able to hold this one uh, for months and months and months. But as long as we're above this one, there's no real reason to be worried about Facebook stock, right? Uh, it's just any move that would be below this or $150 is really something that would be concerning and bearish for Facebook. But otherwise, you know, the path is upward. The trend is upward very clearly. And uh, that hasn't really been broken uh, for a very long time except this minor exception right here. With that being said, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, check out my Technical Analysis Master Course. It covers everything you need to learn about technical analysis, how to spot trends, how to spot buying and selling opportunities, how to read candlesticks, uh, learn a whole bunch of trading indicators, 
Everything you need to know, it's the ultimate guide, combines all my years of training experience, comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and costs less than $20. So literally the price of a t-shirt or two. Also, follow me on Twitter for live market updates. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.